Hi, so good to see you. Join us for a heart-to-heart -heart chat about a life guided by joy, peace and compassion. We are Vegan Heart to Heart. But vegans are so hateful and militant, it is really no fun hanging out with you sometimes or reading your preachy posts on social media. Oh yes, I remember. I used to feel that way about vegans too before I chose to live vegan. It made me really uncomfortable when I saw a vegan post anything on social media or to be in the same room with one. That's exactly how I feel sometimes. I now understand that all they want is to make people aware of where their food and clothing comes from so that people can make informed choices based on their values of unconditional kindness and compassion. How can we ever choose freely if we do not know how things work in the animal exploitation industries? So they are not doing it only to piss people off and make them feel shitty and guilty? <laughs> no, not at all. Most people who are vegan now used to consume animal products at some point in their lives. They were once unaware of the cruelty and violence that is happening to the animals. It is not something that most parents, schools, doctors and TV stations tell us. On the contrary, there are laws in place that protect the animal exploitation industries so they don't lose business. You can get locked up as a terrorist if you film what is going on behind closed doors in factory farms and slaughterhouses. But it is completely legal and funded with taxpayers' money to exploit and kill these innocent beings. So at some point, most people that are now choosing to live vegan heard some information once that made them aware of what is going on behind closed doors and away from the public eye and they chose not to contribute to it anymore. Without ever finding out about the unnecessary cruelty and injustice that is being inflicted on the animals every day, how could change ever happen? It takes awareness to make conscious choices. If you knew of a child being abused or saw a dog being mistreated by his owner, would you go and speak up for them? Yes, of course! Vegans are sharing information about the needless exploitation of animals for food, clothing and entertainment and are making the invisible visible. Yes, it is a difficult message and it is uncomfortable to listen to at first, but hidden within this message is the power to make kind choices and to help bring about change. All they really want is a kinder and more compassionate world. So why do you think it is often perceived as hateful or militant what they are doing? Hmm. Some of the posts make me really sad and angry and I hate to feel that way. I don't want to know about this and I don't want to see these pictures because I can't enjoy my food if I know these things. It makes me feel bad. Wow, thank you for being so honest. It was the same for me. In hindsight, I'm grateful to every militant vegan I ever met and every preachy vegan post I ever read, as they showed me that it is possible to live joyfully, healthily and deliciously without causing intentional harm to any being. They planted seeds in my consciousness and now I can finally live in alignment with my values of unconditional love and compassion. I used to think I was, but boy was I wrong. Thanks for watching. For more episodes, please subscribe, like the video and follow us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Compassionate listening and education goes a long way. Don't forget to be the vegan you wish you had met before you went vegan.